Ako really si Oppo. This is the Oppo Reno 11 Pro 5G. And this one has a lot of good specs, lalo na kanin camera. This one is being powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8200, 12 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigs of storage, OLED curved screen display with 120 hertz of screen refresh rate and 240 hertz of touch sampling rate. And best of all, kanin camera is Sony IMX na sensor. Nasa sabi ko sa inyo a little bit later pag camera na pinag-usap natin. But before that, unbox mo na natin. And ang buong audio dito is using the DJI Mic 2 which is a all new na wireless mic ni DJI. Now I would say uh, if you're a content creator, do consider this one si Mic 2 dahil very portable, very small, and yet ang ganda ng kanyang intelligent noise cancelling. Now if you're interested kung saan nyo pwede mabilito, I'll be linking on the description box below. Now guys, itong Oppo Reno 11 Pro 5G with a 12 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigs of storage will be priced at 31999 which got a price hike from 29999 from the Reno 10 Pro 5G. Now, ang kanyang changes is not too big and not too significant naman if you ask me personally. And getting a 2,000 peso price hike, I'm not sure. Malalaman natin along the way kung sulit nga ba ang additional 2,000 pesos mo dito. But firstly, pag-usapan natin kanyang design. Ang color na hawak natin is the pearl white. And itong phone nito looks a lot like yung Huawei P60 Pro na flagship phone no, na Rococo Pearl. Medyo, may pagkahawig nga lang siya. And ang kanyang camera bump look quite the same, similar sa kanyang predecessor. And ang kanyang ibabaw dito, may design, no? It looks the same dito sa likod niya. And this phone is a curved glass finish. And medyo hindi naman ganun kalakihan ang kanyang punch hole camera. Now, what I like dito sa phone nito is quite slim and masarap nang hawakan sa aking kamay. Now, itong phone nito only got in 957,000 points. Could have break the 1 million points dito sa Antutu benchmark. And ito naman ka ng breakdown. Pagdating naman sa Wild Lab Extreme Test, 1,700 ang kanyang loop score and it only got a 71.6% ng kanyang stability. And uminit siya up to 46 degrees Celsius nung nag-peak siya. And ito ang score naman niya sa Geekbench na CPU benchmarking and ito naman nakuha niya sa GPU benchmarking. Looking good naman kanyang thermal throttling, it throttled to 90% ng kanyang maximum performance. Now kanyang display is a 6.7 inch na OLED display. It has a curved panel and I would say na Ang kanyang refresh rate is high with 120 Hz of screen refresh rate, 240 Hz ang kanyang maximum na touch sampling rate, 394 ppi ang kanyang pixel density, and this one has a maximum brightness at 950 nits. And ang kanyang glass is protected by AGC glasses. Now, nothing really special naman dito sa kanyang glass. It looks similar sa kanyang predecessor, which is the Reno 10 Pro 5G. And swiping left and right is definitely smooth thanks to its 120 Hz of screen refresh rate. And watching all of your favorite reels dito is definitely going to be good. Kasi, ano siya, halos infinity display naman siya. So, yung kanyang screen to body ratio is 93%. So, you have the whole screen iyong iyo. And so, scrolling on social media, watching your favorite shorts is definitely good and smooth sa yung mata. Now, if you're watching mga videos dito, do expect good quality na display and punchy ang kanyang color and the black is definitely rich. Nung nag-sound test ako dito sa phone na ito, pansin ko, medyo malakas ang mga kanyang loudspeaker dito sa lalim, but medyo mahina ang kanyang loudspeaker dito sa kanyang earpiece. Medyo hindi siya balance, no? Pagdating sa sound tripping, mapapansin mo talaga, you'll get more sound dito sa lalim as compared dito sa ibabaw. Now, this phone has a 4,600 mAh of battery supporting up to 80 watts na super book charging. So, charging from 0 to 100 takes around mga 40 minutes to complete the full charging cycle. So, if you ask me kung naglalasto na full day, yes, kaya-kaya naman naman maglasto one whole day without any problem. As long as you're using it normally, walang heavy gaming, kaya-kaya niya. Now, speaking about gaming, itong phone na ito, I was able to try two games dito 
Call of Duty Mobile and Firelight 84. Knowing that this phone is definitely not a gaming phone, but this is more of a camera-centric phone. But we try to play two games kasi Diamond City 8200. Kaya-kaya naman ng gaming dito, no? And these are the maximum graphical settings dito sa dalawang game na nilaro natin. And Call of Duty Mobile, outright, I would say, sobrang smooth. Okay, wala problema. Pagdating sa rank matches and of course, yung mga PR matches, okay na okay siya. Pagdating naman sa Firelight 84, pag sinagad mo siya, doon mo mapipil na there are some uh, certain frame drops along the way. And itong phone na ito, based sa akin uh, thermometer, it reached at around mga 48 degrees Celsius ang kaya pinakamainit dito sa phone na ito when playing after 1 hour at maximum settings sa Firelight 84. Now, I'm pretty sure that you're really excited about the camera division. Now, ang kanyang camera sensor is a 50MP na Sony IMX 890. And this one has OIS and 24mm ang kanyang focal length. Then, there's also the 32MP na Sony IMX 709 na telephoto lens as well as a 8MP na Sony IMX 355 ultra wide lens. Ang ganda no, lahat IMX. So, expect natin na magandang mga camera set from this one. And ang kanyang front-facing camera is a 32MP na shooter. And what's nice dito sa kanyang camera is that front and back can shoot up to 4K and 30. Now, one of the good things pag nagpa-purchase ka ng Reno phone is ang ganda ng mga photos na mara-reproduce niya. So, let's start off with a uh, outdoor shot. So, we have here is kanyang ultra-wide shot. And this one is kanyang normal shot. This one is the 2 times zoom shot. And this is the 5 times zoom shot. And what I like dito sa is yung kind of 5 times zoom shot is still very clear. And pag zoom in mo, the photo is very much usable pa rin. Now, one of the good things dito sa camera is that I love yung kind of mga ultra-wide shot dito. All of this shot na nakuha natin dito usually ultra-wide lens is very nice and very clear. And I like the way na nare-reproduce sa kanyang mga pictures dito. Taking some plan shot dito and yung kind of bokeh background is also nice. Now, taking some shot while walking, mabilis din siya mag-focus like this one. And taking some sunset shot, you'll see na dramatic naman ang kanyang mga photos. Now, if you bring the phone indoors and medyo low light, you'll see mga photos sa mga capture mode, these sa mga dolls. No? It's really nice. And pag zoom in mo, kitang-kita mo mga details ang kanyang mga fur. Taking some apparel shot, pag zoom in mo kanyang mga fabric, makita mo ang ganda ng details pa rin. Kapagdating naman sa low light, you'd appreciate some of these shots no? indoors. It's really nice. Ang ganda pag reproduce no? Hindi siya madilim, which I think uh, is probably one of the good factors dito sa phone na ito. Taking some bokeh shot like this is also nice. And makita mo yung background blur is also good. Taking some food shot, makita natin mga food looks sharp and really good. And you really get some mga punchy photos dito like this one and also this one. Now, pagdating naman sa night photography, ginamit natin ang night mode to take some of these shots. It's really good. And makita natin some of this photo na kung natin over the bridge dito sa Quezon Avenue. It's really nice. Using kind of front-facing camera on indoor, uh, I would say na medyo namumuti tayo, no? Uh, not to the point na masyadong maputi, but it seems to me na medyo na -expo overexposed kung tiyaga na ilaw. But on some other condition like this one, okay naman siya. On outdoor, makikita natin, it's a little bit overexposed. But on some other condition, okay din naman siya. Now, using the front-facing camera to take some vlog, and I would say na okay naman ang kanyang camera, it's just that medyo shaky lang talaga siya. Now, if you're using your rear camera, taking your 4K video, this is how it look like, and definitely the video is good. Medyo kunting shakiness, but not to the point na nakakahilo. Maybe kulang lang sa pagka-stabilize pa ang kanyang camera. Taking some more videos on indoor condition, this is how it looks like. Ma Mafe-feel mo may kunting shake siya, no? But hindi siya yung sobrang garapal na shake. So guys, ano masasabi ko dito sa phone na ito? Si Oppo Reno 11 Pro 5G. Na uh, price at 31999 I would say na hindi siya ganun kasulit. I would even say na medyo may pagkamahal siya dahil you don't really get that flagship level na mga processor inside a 30,000 plus na phone. I would say mas sulit pa si OnePlus A3 with a 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage at 29,000 pesos dahil yun ay may Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 na at a lower price point. So, anong husga nyo dito guys? Comment on the comment section below and let me know. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends. And a subscription to this channel would definitely be fantastic. And I'll see you on my next video. And so, ako para sa Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.